Today we'll be working with this Panasonic AVC cam recorder and a few of its tools to help you achieve proper and professional levels of exposure in all of your future shots. Exposure can be corrected many ways, but here we'll be showing you how to adjust the iris, use zebra stripes, and read the waveform monitor. When adjusting the iris, there are two settings that you should be aware of, automatic and manual. To flip back and forth between the two settings, press the iris button located on the lower right part of your camera. When you're in the automatic setting, the camera will do all of the thinking and try to expose the picture for you. This is not a setting you should rely on for your work because the quality varies. When the camera is set to manual iris, you can adjust the settings with the ring closest to you on the lens. This is called the iris ring. Notice when you adjust the iris ring, the f-stop gets higher and lower. For this class, you should always make sure your zebra stripes are preset to 80 and 100%. You can activate the zebra stripes here. Once you turn on this feature, you'll notice there are stripes going throughout your shot. Eighty percent zebra is one of the most commonly used presets in interviews. This is because it generally helps you achieve lighting a person in their skin tone in the most realistic way. When adjusting your zebras, you should only allow a few stripes to remain on the subject. If you happen to be filming a person, the stripes will likely be around their forehead, nose, and cheeks. The waveform monitor on your camera is another very important tool to use when capturing video, not only on this device, but any camera you encounter in the future. This feature allows you to view the levels of brightness throughout your shot. The waveform monitor can be activated by pressing the WFM button located beneath the zebra button on the main control panel. There should now be a small monitor on your LCD display. The width of this graph from left to right represents your shot. You can see the coffee bottle, the trail mix, and the paper. The length of this graph represents the brightness levels. When you're unsure about your exposure levels, you can always rely on the waveform monitor to identify troubled areas in your shot or use it to properly expose and contrast your subject. It's very important to check these levels as you're filming in new areas to guarantee you're capturing usable and broadcast safe footage for whatever your purpose may be. So when you get out there and start filming, don't forget to check your exposure levels with all the tools you've learned about today.